Hi, I'm Alay. And we play for our high school varsity lacrosse team. Today we're going to be teaching you how to do cradling, wall balls, quick sticks, and regular passes. But first we're going to need to go over safety gear. So you're going to need a headgear if your team requires one, a pair of goggles, a mouth guard, um, pleats or any type of like running shoe, a lacrosse stick, and a ball. So basically all there is to cradling is you hold your stick like this and you're just going to move your fingers in the motion like this. And then you're going to add a swift wrist movement. And then once you get the hang of that, you can just add a little arm movement with it. Just with the dominant hand, by the way. And when you get the hang of that, you, you can just put your stick like this diagonal to the ground and add only the swift wrist movement. This skill tries to help you keep the ball in the net so it doesn't go flying at your net. And basically, all, the, all there is that's left of it is don't flick your wrist or fingers too hard because if you do, the ball will go flying at your net. In lacrosse, you're going to need both dominant and non-dominant skills. So make sure you have your dominant down and that's just like this just like she reviewed. But now I want you to hold the top of the stick with your non-dominant hand and your bottom is stabilizing it. And it's the same exact thing. It's just on a different side of your body. So if you're righty, you're gonna be on the left and you're lefty, you're gonna be on the right. So it's just like the quick swift movement, like a bicep curl. It's really easy. It's kind of just the mental thing, but you really wanna make sure that you um, work on it. And cradling is really important in the game because if I'm cradling, and I'm just running along the field and I have somebody come up on me. So let's say I'm running and I'm not cradling. I'm like, can you come here? This is what will happen. And then now the ball can possibly be hers. So you need to make sure that you're cradling so that you can keep that ball. In your so this is where you do wall balls. You wanna find a nice big wall like this so you can have a plenty of space to throw and catch. So basically what ball balls do for you, they help you work on your aim and your coordination, basically mostly your, your aim so you a lot of balls here's what you're gonna do you can hold your stick in the middle with your dominant hand in the middle bottom hand towards the butt of your stick and you're gonna aim wall balls is a hard technique so like that i missed it and it's completely okay because it's pretty hard so before you do wall balls you may want to practice with a partner LA taught you how to do a basic wall ball and that's definitely an essential for learning lacrosse but there's also like add-ons that you could do I guess you could say. So a couple of the ones are like hitting off the ground so that you can get it to go higher, hitting really high off which I'm not so good at though so if you're short you want to be careful because I'm short um, and then just regular so I'll show you a couple of those right now. So the first one I'm going to show you is hitting off the ground and that's kind of will give it a little bit of height. And then there's also high balls. And then there's also, um, if you want to get it really high, like if you want to practice draws, you can put it, like try to hit the ball right there, but that is really hard. Um, but that's about so it. So if you can't quite really get the motion of cradling, it's completely okay. It's gonna take a little bit of practice, but one way to start um, like catching balls and also working on your accuracy is to do quick sticks. Essentially, what a quick stick is is when you and a partner, Marilee, you and a partner, there, will be standing a couple feet to like a couple of meters apart. Can you show her? Like this, and then. Non-dominant. 
Of course, you're not going to be perfect at first because nobody is, but make sure you keep a positive attitude towards it and continue to practice. Because I know when I started learning, I would get upset so I wouldn't do non-dominate, and now it's really hard to do. When you're doing this kind of exercise, make sure you do it with a partner first because the wild ball method may be a little bit harder. Yeah, and I'll show you like what to do with non-dominate. So make sure it's not too high and not too low so that you have full control. So about like three quarters of the way up or mid stick and then your bottom is just stabilizing. See, it's 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 so much harder. Now that we've gone over all the basics, we're going to start the bug bug passes in lacrosse. Or it's basically catching while cradling. Yeah, and like a regular pass, you really need to make sure that it's down pat. Because if you don't catch it in a game, now there's a 50-50% chance of who gets possession of the ball. And that's by doing ground balls. Um, make sure that you're not afraid of the ball also because a lot of girls get really intimidated and that's why you have safety gear on. I don't have my safety gear today but LA does. Um, but that's why you have safety gear. Like so when you're doing regular passes a lot of the time you're going to be on the run but running and catching is a lot different than just standing there and catching so make sure you want to kind of start off with just standing there and passing and it's going to kind of look like this. Make sure your body and hand is just because if you don't get it and you are now have a ground ball there is a chance that the other team's gonna get it and of course that was like a basic type I you saw as I cut um, you can catch like this there's across the body catches which is what I did there's all sorts of like add-ons that you can do to it um, but just keep practicing and you'll get a lot better as time goes on yeah the other passes really help you with a lot and it like yeah, and like a game. Yeah. Um, so that's basically all that we have for you guys today. Um, we didn't go over, we went over a lot, but there's of course so many more things that you can go over, like shooting and the eight meter hashes and stuff getting like that. Getting ground balls. Getting ground balls, which is really imperative in the game. That's basically the most new skill besides um, regular passes. Um, but yeah, I hope you practice that like three to five times a week. You'll see a lot of improvement as you're going on. And that's about it. Thank you.